welcome now we will go to our first component which is overview and go and start modifying the component ts file if we check the component ts file it looks something like this so what we will do now is we'll just go ahead and add implements on init on init by doing this what it will do is it would trigger the on init functionality which means when we want to do something on the load we can now do it let's see how to do that so first we'll create items an array of type if you remember we created an item type of interface and we will create an array of type item and initialize with empty array if you press control and hover this is what we created item so we are creating an items array of type item data type which is satisfying the typescript then we will create a constructor and in the constructor we will pass public item service we created as item service also so we will pass it as item service hit enter it will import automatically and that's it so this is our constructor next is we will create a method to load the data on page load so we'll say get all items and this will actual do the actual api call so we'll say this dot item service which we have already injected here in angular this is called dependency injection we are injecting one class which is our service into our component class so now we will say get all items we have already created this in our item service go to that you can see it here so we are just making a call and this returns the promise if we remember it returns promise all our api calls returns promise so we need to resolve the promise to either success or failure so what we will do is we will say this dot then okay we can also do something like await async await if we want but if we want we can also do this way what the way i am doing so now we will just say response or we can even we can let's let's check what we are getting and then we will pass it along to the ui so this is the then callback which is the success and then we have the catch which is for the error and in the error we will get something like this error and we can return error from here or we can do a console log also and thing is fine and now we will do a console log of the response to see what we are getting here console log response and we will call this from the on load so on load for the on load we have the ng on init which is coming from the interface that we have integrated so we say this dot get all items so now let's go and see in the console what we get right click inspect console we go to 
and here we have the data it says and in the data this is what we have and our data is in this data so we say data and this is returning us two two items which is what we want so we will say here we will just get rid of this and we will say this dot items equal to response dot data that's what we saw in the response dot data we were getting the actual object we can also double confirm it again there's no problem in typing console log to find out what is coming in the response and what you want to set it in the different fields so you can do the console logs you can even put debuggers and we see that it is correctly giving us the add data perfect you can also if you want put a debugger here and you can be sure about this so debugger and it stops you can hover on it you can see the data perfect so any any mode of debugging whether with the console log or with the debugger is fine so now we have got the data for all items so in the next video we will work on the ui part to display them on the ui so let's say comment debugger as well and also console because they are not good for production environment thank you